Sergeant Adam Cheney and Conservation Officer Chris McKee head to Hooksett Dam to investigate complaints of people fishing over the limit. There's a guy down below I see fishing, so. He's got a tackle box, lawn chair. His dad and his little kid. We'll just walk down and check him. Hey, how you doing? Bass. Good for the kids. Yeah. You know, they're always something. Exactly. The other guy with you down there? No. Okay. You I would check you guys, you're all set, so. We're all set? Yeah, you're all set. You got one? <laughs> Good job, bud. How you doing? You having any luck? How long you been out today? Uh I found the dog. Nice. There you go. That's good. Are you keeping any of them? No. No. How many have you caught so far today? Oh, uh, yeah, I've got three. I'm just checking the fishing license. Do you have your fishing license? Uh, yeah, I have it. Okay, perfect. So what do you have in the cooler? Uh, food. Uh, asking what was in the bucket, he told me it was his food. Uh, the bucket is moving, so there's some sort of fish in there, something live inside the bucket. You said you had food in the cooler? Yeah. How many bass do you have? Well, I don't have bass. Right, these are these are bass. Uh, these are bass. These are all bass. Oh my god! But I don't know. How many do you have? I get found. Okay, you're only allowed to have five. Five. You're only allowed to have five. You have at least fifteen or so in here. Okay. He's clearly over his limit of bass that he can possess right now, so we're gonna take him back up to the vehicle and uh, see how many fish he actually has and have him pick all his equipment up and, uh, and check him at the vehicle, where it's a little bit safer further away from the water, where we can kind of control the situation. Yeah, I got to call the fish he has. He threw one back when we were there, but... What's he got? Every one of them is a smallmouth. Is he coming so, up? Yeah, he's coming up. If you wanna just wait for him, I'm gonna go up and just count them. Right now, the limit for smallmouth is five per person per day. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So you're 13 fish over the limit right now. All right, I'll be right back with you real quick. We want to make sure people aren't taking over limits. You know, we want to see children down here like they are, and the dad's taking their kids here. If they take all the fish out, there's going to be nothing left for anybody else to have. So yeah, when I asked him uh, what he had in the bucket, he told me it was food. So he said he's got his food in there. I said, okay. He caught a bass while I was there. As soon as like, he caught it, he looked at me and threw it back. So he obviously knows. Yeah, he knows. Um, I'll, I'll explain that to him as well. So. All right, so basic Argent, you're going to get a ticket for having an over limit of fish, okay? All right, so we're going to let you keep five of the fish, okay? okay. Court sets the fine $124 for having an over limit of fish. After that, every fish you possess is a $12.40 fine. So on, on top of that, so the fines are going to end up being $285.20, okay? okay? You will have your fishing license suspended for a period of one year once they find you guilty on that, okay? Do um, you have any questions for me or anything? Okay, and I'll give you your, your license back here as well so I don't keep that on you. And the rest of them, I'm gonna get an evidence bag out. What fish do you want, Arjun? Yes, I keep on your head, yes? Yeah, you, you can pick them out. We're getting more and more people that are coming in and starting to catch fish and keep them as many as they can. It's a resource that is declining, and it's important to be able to preserve and conserve those fish so that they're there for the future. Actually, this doesn't this doesn't work. This is not good. He's got the hog rings, but he's got it half hitched on there, so that, that doesn't count. No. Off the New Hampshire coast, the conservation officers check on lobster traps to make sure the gear is in compliance with federal regulations. This guy is currently under suspension in New Hampshire waters, but now we found issues with his gear out in federal water. Yeah, huh? It's got a tag. Last year, we had a run-in with this fisherman with some untagged gear in state waters. One trap on each trawl that was untagged. So that put him out of business in state waters. He's suspended for a number of years in state due to other violations that have piled up before. So that kind of forced him into the federal water side of thing. Phew. There's some stank bait. In state waters, fishermen typically fish 10 traps on a trawl. We're out in federal waters right now, so this is probably going to be a 20-trap trawl, which on this boat, we don't have much room for it, but we can do it. No trap tag. Tag? No tag. 
I don't know if he didn't think we were going to come out here and check his traps again, or if we didn't think we had the equipment or the abilities to get a trawl this size up on the boat or what, but I guess he t decided to chance it again. Oh, good. Are we going to house more of his gear? Might as well. Yeah, if we can find another trawl, we'll just pull up another one. Yeah. By fishing extra traps, he's putting pressure that wasn't planned for by the scientists and by the biologists. It damages the resource by fishing extra traps, and it's basically stealing from all the other fishermen as well. We clink. No. Same as before. Yep. There it is. There's no red tag on that. No tag. No, no tag. That's that's what he does with the you know just missing one or two trap tags. It doesn't look egregious, but when every one of your trawls is missing one or two, he takes an extra trawl to throw out there. And based on this guy's history, lengthy, lengthy history. So everything we have here, the pictures, the GPS coordinates are all evidence that we're gonna put into a report and forward to NOAA. With the evidence gathered and the report filled out, Officer Arsenal talks to the violator on the phone. Hey, this is uh, Ron Arsenal, Fishing Game. Yeah, no, um, the weak link was also messed up on that, uh, that little toggle buoy that you had and you had a half inch through it, so you can't have that either. No, I can't have a hitch on, on that on that? Yes. I, mean, I had no idea that they couldn't do that. Um, it, it wasn't kind of on purpose. The more so was the issue of the trap tags, because we've had an issue with that in the past. It was one trap on two trawls that we, we only pulled two trawls of yours, and they were both the same. I had no idea that that was the way it was. But no one was going to be in touch with you, because that's a federal offense. It's not It's not with us. Uh, I'll be working on it in the morning. Thanks. Thanks. All right. The same thing every time. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know. I go on for like four or five years, every single time. But he didn't know about the trap tag, right? There's hundreds of other people going.